Last time on Strip Search. You all have one final challenge. In the next four hours, you will each create a three strip arc. Two hours and 55 minutes remaining. It doesn't have as much power when it's like three hours. Right? Yeah, it really doesn't. That's actually quite a bit of time. What, what would happen if I died? Would I just win? Would they make me win? No. Are you getting that strip search D? Like, has it, has it just been a cock carousel? As Is it just you... vitamin D? Can I, can I switch to paper? Is that? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my God, thank you so much. Abby, have you noticed more people reading your current comic? I've gotten a lot more hits than I used to get. It's great. So you're gonna do that while you're drawing these other 200 comics? Yep. I'm gonna break my right hand first so that I make it even harder for myself. Wow. I'm that hardcore into comics, guys. Yeah, so you're still going to school too, right? Nope. I'm taking a lot of time off. Isn't that called dropping out? It's called taking a break. What led to that decision? School was really difficult for me this semester. All I ever wanted to do when I sat down to write a paper was write script. Kai, you know what? This is the funny thing, is that that's what you were doing when you were at uh, Circuit City? Yeah, I drew the comic strips at Circuit City. <laughs> he, he, drew, he drew them, I mean, eventually he started to draw the comics at the register. Uh, Katie, mm -hmm. did you end up quitting your job? Uh, no, I wanted to, but um, I got scared because... Because uh, it's a job? The show that I'm working on right now is, is about to end, and it's not getting picked up again, and a lot of people jumped ship. Spoiler warning. And so there was like this panic going on, like, oh my god, everybody's leaving, everybody's leaving, and I was like, do I want to be one of those people that, like, leaves? So, I mean, you've been staying as your workload has just been steadily rising, and it was already insane. I found out that, Abby, that your hair is longer on one side than it is on the other. I thought it was always like pushed over your shoulder. Yeah, me too. That's what it looks like, yeah. Well, that's a huge time savings. I'm not sure if that's how other people see it. I think they're just like, you're trying to be so unique, and I'm just like, <sighs> You wear cat skull necklaces. That's because I'm goth. It's to reflect my inner darkness. Is Have you ever broken into a cemetery and kissed a boy? Oh. It's on my bucket list, don't worry. Katie, mm -hmm. is there a chance you will not finish? Yeah, yeah, there's a chance that I won't finish. But um, I was for so I don't know what was wrong with me. I was having such a hard time uh, in Photoshop, just getting it to work that I was definitely not going to finish if I continued. So uh, I, I'll I'll get more work done by hand. I stand by what I did, even if. Do you I, have your you know. arc pretty well conceptualized? Yeah, yeah, the arc is conceptualized. There's a few shots that I haven't really figured out yet, but um. In general, like it's figured out, so I just have to actually execute it. Abby, have you ever considered becoming a taxidermist? All the time. When I look at some of the cryptozoological craziness in this set, all these bizarre beasts, I was just like, oh, I wonder. I wonder if this actually ties back to like a natural sciences. Natural science has helped me so much with my creature design. I bet that you know exactly how their musculature works. Like when I look at the big, when I look at uh, the creature there, I'm like, oh, I bet that there's nothing about this beast biologically that she could not explain. You've also included a novella, which I thought was tasteful. I see fully four text pages. TLDR. I don't want it to just be like, oh yeah, this one idea, I don't know what's gonna happen with it, but whatever, it'll take me like, I don't know, a couple years. So you, 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 wanted, you wanted to make sure that we understood that you had created a world. Uh, yeah, except less pretentious than that, I guess. No, 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 I, you're, you're never gonna hear me use the term pretentious. Pretentious is a word that non-artists use to describe people who actually do something with their fucking lives. I hope you guys aren't just like, oh, this is so stupid and boring, she put all this work into it, it's stupid. If you hadn't done it, I'd be <laughs> mad. 
he would be in trouble. Yeah. If you showed up here with nothing. Yeah, and it's like, well, I wanted to make sure you guys didn't think I was being pretentious. There's a lot there, though. And and the, the pieces that you gave us are, you know, pulled out of some realm in the middle of the story. It's actually really hard. Like, I was able to enjoy it sort of in the abstract. Like, I could appreciate it for that reason. But, I mean, I, I strongly suspect that you found it more or less impenetrable? Absolutely. I had no idea what was going on. Yeah, but, but I, also, I also read the text. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to be a fan, but I'm pretty sure that that's why you asked if that's where it started, right? Yeah, well, like with Katie's, it was very obvious that we were being introduced to the world and the characters. It had an introductory comic. And, and then Maki had an introductory comic yes. too, but it, it seemed to be introducing a new comic which he did not produce and bring for us tonight. Yeah, so I didn't understand where Abby's fit in the continuity, but. The idea that these are much later is, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I, did, I specifically did not choose the intro pages because I decided to choose the one that included the most from each character in the shortest amount of time. It's a huge heap of characters, and it also it also has gives an opportunity to delve into some pretty gruesome, like authentic horror. Yay. Kitty, mm -hmm. the strip where he says um, he won't know how Game of Thrones ends mm -hmm. really took me out of it. Oh, really? It's sort of like in Harry Potter when they start talking specifically about the PlayStation 2. Right. See, I like that. Well, my problem with that particular strip had to do with the fact that it didn't it didn't punch right. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't it didn't resolve correctly. If that mention had been higher up in that strip and we were allowed to explore it more and make it a real joke as opposed to what I'm sure you felt it was, which was a, just a reference for references sake. Yeah. See, we don't have a chance to we don't have a chance to explore the idea of pop culture as a currency for kids. Right. Right? So you fix that. Okay. So if this does work out for you, are you ready to become a more, the like, communicating with people directly? Like, I mean, I think more so with web comics than traditional comics, the creator is as big a part of the comic strip's success as the work itself. Yeah. So I mean, are you ready to, to be that person? I guess so. I mean, what else can I be if that's the role I'm given? Is your bird moist? Oh my god. It might so moist. This is a game changer. Are you ready to be a creator? Like like I was talking with Katie, like are you ready to be front and center? Oh yeah. I mean, I think it, I think it, um, based on what's been happening with the show, I've been really, you know, I I I love that that cult of personality part. So you feel like you've done a good job so far of taking the sort of spotlight that you're getting from Strip Search and and marketing that and turning it, you know, into something for yourself. Yeah, for sure. I think if there's anything I've been good at is kind of marketing me as a character. Abby, what? Why are chickens so moist? Because they're full of water. Really? We're full of water also. Shut up, <clears throat> fucking witch. <laughs> Katie, if you had to eat someone in the house, who would you eat? Hmm, I wish I knew more about their bathing habits. Really, it's not obvious to you? I wouldn't eat anybody stinky. I've known since the first day. Who would you eat? Maki. Maki? Yeah. Maki's gonna have little hairs in it though. I've got good marbleization, especially in these like belly cuts. Artists, you have one hour remaining, plus 29 minutes. Just fun fact, this is how much time you had in the earlier challenges. Katie, mm -hmm. how much do you like chocolate cake? I like chocolate cake a lot. Too fucking bad. Okay. You need to make comics. You fritter away the first hour. I will give you five dollars. US dollars. If you believe in God. If you put your whole face in this cake. That was gonna happen anyway. Well, now you're gonna get five dollars for it. But let me eat some more cake first. Nose right there, down to the plastic. Down to the plastic, right. There's gonna be a point where I can't, I can't see anymore, and there's gonna be a point after that where I can't hear. I need you to keep me safe, like when I'm. Oh, nothing will, bad will happen to you. I mean, other than the cake face. But this is the best thing. Right. Go. All the way in. All the way in. 
all the way to the plastic. It's incredible. Take it out. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you not amused? I am. I don't actually have five dollars. See if you can get five dollars. <laughs> I'll do a Kickstarter. Do you think you'll finish? Uh, that's actually a good question. I'll be perfectly honest, I don't have an ending yet. Okay. Katie? Mm hmm How are we doing at the one hour mark? Not that bad because I think I started really getting going on the paper at our halfway mark. Abby, how are we doing? One hour? Sounds all right. Maki? Yeah. If you lose tonight, what are you going to do? I'll be really disappointed, and I'll have to reconsider a lot of things. You say reconsider a lot of things, and what do you mean? In a lot of ways, this is kind of like a, a great reset button. You know, I could kind of like start over, move someplace new, and automatically have a job and the funds to do so. Where if I don't, if I want to do that, I have to, you know, kind of raise up the funds and figure out a plan. Abby? If you lose tonight? I'm gonna be super sad and really stressed out. Would you go back to school? No. That's not happening? That was like, people read my comics, people comment and are just like, this is great, I love your comics. And it's just like, I, it rekindled everything. Cause I've always wanted to do this. I remember back in middle school when I was just like, I wanna do this, reading all these comic books. Knowing that it didn't make any money and still just being like, yeah, this is great. Katie, if you lose, mm -hmm. Will there still be a camp? We don't want you. Eventually, yeah. Um, I'll probably wait until I have a, a break from work to like really get into it. But I already wrote a bunch of stuff. Not as much as I don't have like the the story fully fleshed out, but I wrote a bunch of stories and I want to do it. Maki. Yeah. Are you going to continue your journey of self exploration? Yeah, I might just have to uh, you know find creative ways to you know I might like kick fund it. Can't do both this and my current comic if I you know, have to work full time. Artists, 20 minutes plus 25 minutes is 45 minutes. It didn't even phase them. I know, it's because they're fucking in the comic zone. Yeah. Abby. What? Did you see anyone kissing in the house? Did you do any kissing in the house? I will leave this not a mystery unsolved. <laughs> Look at me, referencing all material. I'm the greatest cartoonist alive. Yeah, Abby, hmm? are you going to be able to do all your fancy cross-hatching? It might not be as fancy as it usually is. So no. You guys saw it in those comics. We know what it would have looked like. Yeah, you know what it could be. I have a confession to make. Confession? I have a runny nose and I don't want to wipe it on my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to look gross. <laughs> Katie, are you sad? I'm sad that I have a runny nose, but I'm not sad about anything else. Okay, good. Should I be sad? Oh my no, God, should I be yet. sad? No. Not yet, no. Like the last few days of filming, I was like kind of an emotional wreck. And not because it was terrible or anything, it was just really strenuous and really, uh, yeah, you know. And so I, I cried a lot like in the last few days just for random reasons and for rational reasons. But I think I don't think I'll I don't think I'll cry if I lose. Obviously like we all want the money and the 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 you know uh, connections and everything. Bitches. Well that's the main part, but it's been brought to my attention that both Katie and Abby were able to spend one on one time with Jerry and I uh, at a dinner. Uh, whereas you did not. That was the prize, right? Do you feel like that puts you to disadvantage? You know, honestly, when the when the prize was administered, I was like, whatever, I'll just meet them for dinner when I work there. Oh shit, son. Damn, kid. So that's probably why I'll, why I'll, why I'll cry and be bitter if I don't win. Yeah. Because then all that bravado would have been for nothing. Oh, I just figured it out, Muggy. 
your new strip is a nature film about people. Ooh, I like that. I was trying to figure out what the juxtaposition with the scientific data and the other species was, and I was like, oh, right, it's like nature. If they made a nature show uh, and they were about people, it would show them talking in, in their apartments and mating. And it, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's actually like, a, like an anthropological study, but it's done with this lens. I don't know. The way I kind of frame, thought I'd frame is that, like, you know, like each arc, there's kind of like a lesson to be learned. In the beginning, it would have like one of those vignettes. And how do you feel writing female characters? I mean, you have two main characters that are... Now, you know, that was another part of, you know, the kind of the challenge I wanted to take on. I'm not sure. Um, you know, it's definitely something I have to think about when I write. And thinking about writing is um, something I really didn't do until that first elimination when you pulled me aside. Artists, you have five minutes remaining. Is that for reals? In the, in, in the entire for reals, competition, literally in five minutes. Four minutes and 51 seconds. Oh my god. Maki? Yes. Are you gonna finish? I was worried at first, but I, I, I hit something. Um, again, I think, I think it's kind of a risk. I introduced a new character as just a vagina. Shh. Katie, mm -hmm. was uh, making the switch to pens the right move? Yeah. You feel confident? That's going a little bit farther, but okay. I still I still think that um, I would have been in real trouble if I had stayed digital. Abby, can you finish in three minutes? Yep. Are you already done and you're just fucking around with it? No, I just need to make sure it's clear that he's invisible. You need to make sure that it's clear that he's invisible. Ha, ha, ah, ha, ha. Mm. I'm done. That's it. Artists, that is time. Four solid hours of battle. You're still on your feet. It's not quite over. Enjoy the shame hole while we get down to the nitty gritty here. We'll see you soon. These three are about a hundred times better than the work that she has in here. Yeah, that's the weird thing, right? When under the gun, with ideas drawn from a basket, these comics are better. Right. You know, and it's, it's exactly like we told her. I mean, you know, she had all that time, and what she gave was like something basically, chronologically speaking, like grabbed out of a hat. Yeah. You know, like, like it's it's from some part inside of a story that no one knows yet. Yeah. But see, we don't know it. Like she knows it so well that I'm not sure she understands that there's such a thing as someone not knowing it. Yeah. Like it is way, way. All she knows way. all these characters, all their personalities make sense to her. Well, yeah, and, and and they come out in this, but we don't have a chance to appreciate them or even meet them. They're just representations. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no learning. But then you read this and it is, oh, I want to get to know them. I want to know who these, I want to know more about these yeah. people. After just reading these, I didn't want to <laughs> read any more of this comic. Right. After reading these, I do. How about some more? This is definitely more in that um, 
this is more of a uh, serious vein. Again, sort of, you know, anthropological in nature. It ends pretty good, which is interesting because he said it didn't have an ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This the, the ending is the is the part that works best. It's the strongest part. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The rest the rest of it is not. I mean, this is it's the punchline in name. This, I don't, yeah, this the is a throwaway. first part is sort of, well, I mean, the idea is that he's a big liar. Sure, but. Yeah, we get that, and then, meh. Whereas I actually liked, I mean, a lot of his material here, yeah, it was all over the place. Yeah. I mean, in terms, in terms of theme, in terms of quality, I think a lot of this was very good. Oh, yeah. Um, but, but I think the work he has here is much better than this. Yes. Right. Yes. I think these are good. I think they're good too. I think that the work that she has in here is much better. It's interesting, like given given time, these two, right, Katie and Baki, produced much better work than they did here under under the gun. Right. Whereas Abby, I think, needs a clock. Yeah. I think she needs a timer ticking down. She needs to fear. Yeah. Right. She needs to feel terror in order to create the work that we know she does. You know, we get we get her out here. Do we gotta, do we need to have like a window installed in the office so that we can be staring like this? Yeah, do I mean, we, do, she, we need, do we need to take this clock and install it outside of her office? Here, here's the thing is, these three strips that she wrote here on stage are fantastic. Yes. These ones are not so great, right? Yeah. If I, if I knew for a fact that I was gonna get this, it would be much easier for me to pick her as the winner. Yeah. But what I'm scared is that I'm gonna get this, 200 of this. Whereas this work was not as good as the work that she produced at home. It's still quite good. It's but still it's... very good. But working here in a studio, this is the kind of work she would produce. Yeah. She's not gonna be under the gun all the time picking ideas out of a basket. This is what we can expect from Katie. We have a chance right now to to create more of something. That's that's I think that that's the lever we have. You know, we, we, we're making an investment um, in one of these people. We get to choose what we see. You know, we get we get to we get to communicate these. Uh, this conversation that we're having now. Yeah. The person that comes in, those those discussions will be frank. You know what I mean? Like, the, conver the conversations that we have with that person will be incredibly robust. I mean, that's what we, with Abby, we would have to have a conversation, right? We would have to say, well, if that's even our role at that point, right? If, if we say, Abby, you won, is that it? Do we step away and then say, go make your comic? When she's being quick and goofy and ridiculous, it's hilarious. When she's creating a universe, it's overwrought. If Katie wins, she could come into an office and start making this the next day. Is that our role? Once we once they win, are we editors? No, right? Once they win... We're peers, maybe. We're peers. Yeah, once a person wins, they're a peer. But I would never tell Scott or Chris how to make their comic strip. We do that every day. Well, they come in and they say, hey, do you think this is funny? Or we talk about jokes. Do you, do you think they'll never talk to us about jokes? Yeah. The reality is that we do talk to our peers constantly. Yeah you know, in very clear language. All right, so what are you thinking? It's just hot. It's hot again. I mean, the reality is that I think that they're all good. So how do you square that circle? That took a lot out of me. That, and you know, like, I, I don't know if it was because of the writing part, but I did not, I was not able to get as, like, finished and polished of a comic as I did in the other two eliminations. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, me either. Like, usually I was able to put in, like, line work, and this time it was, like, yeah. just the lines yeah. and, like, no extra. At first it was really difficult for me, because I was like, fuck, this is all, like, I already know all the story, how am I gonna... 
Right, and right. Yeah, you have, you have it all. Characters. You have it all more planned out. Yeah, it's got like a definite storyline. It's not like it's good. Yeah, but it was surprisingly easier than I thought because these characters have been in my head for so long. It's just the least we could do is make it so tough of a decision that they'll like lie awake at night and be like, "What if we pick this person instead? Maybe we should have." Like, they'll, they'll always oh, second yeah. guess their decision. I think that's what that's what they I figured they deserve that torment. <laughs> I'm glad that we're all all our all our stuff is so different. Yeah. That's probably what's gonna make it I, such I, a hard decision. I think like there was there was a part of me that was like, oh god, what if we all do like a slice of life strip and that's all <laughs> it's yeah. just like who has the better one? I came really close to abandoning my idea halfway through and doing it probably. It looks so good though. It looks awesome. Mm-hmm. I would read it. I, I'm I'm happy I went with the choice I did. So I'm No regrets. Artists, we've looked over all of the work that you brought with you. We've looked at the comics that you made on stage here tonight, and we have made a decision. I real quick want to say that for the purposes of this show, we are judges, but it has been an honor. Maki, I'm sorry, but you're not the strip we're searching for. Katie, you are the strip that we are searching for. Come on in, guys. surprised uh, a little overwhelmed right now I, I don't know how to put it into words like I didn't I didn't see this coming and I'm just I'm very grateful I'm really grateful I have 11 new friends I have more than 11 new friends I have all these really nice people I've met and just I can't wait I can't wait to do more I really I'm really excited about my project and I can't wait to do more and thank you for making me do it Visit campcomic.com to follow along with Katie's winning strip, Camp We Don't Want You.